there. And uh, Stuart Welch joins us with Money Tuesday. Everybody's coughing on the show this morning. Uh, Stuart Wells joins us, and we're talking about a way you can put money back in your wallet with an easy way to get a tax credit. Uh, Stuart, great to have you join us again. Now, we've talked about the Alabama Accountability Act before, and um, this is an easy way to get a tax credit. It is. Well, so, it, you know, they got kind of mired down in controversy and right. got kicked up to the Alabama Supreme Court, which just, I guess, last week ruled in favor of it. So it's like sanctioned it and uh, yeah. a, it's a tax credit. So the first thing is tax credit is not like a tax deduction. Tax mm -hmm. credit is a dollar for dollar offset. So you, you get a tax credit, you get a full dollar for that. And there's also, there's just also a way to actually help out a youngster. And again, for you who's not familiar with the Alabama Accountability Act, if a child is living in a, in a district that has a quote unquote failing school, he can get a, uh, a tax, uh, he can actually get a, some money to go to a school that's performing better. So now, but we, and we can help with that by making a donation, right, to a scholarship? Yeah, yeah there's 25,000, I'm sorry, 25 million dollars in the mm -hmm. pot on an annual basis, kind of first come, first serve. So so a quick example, let's say that you owe the Alabama uh, taxes of $2,000. Mm -hmm. So you write a $1,000 to one of the scholarship granting organizations, one of those qualified uh, charities, and uh, you get a tax credit for that. And so uh, it doesn't cost you a nickel, doesn't cost you anything to divert the money from the state legislature to one of these uh, scholarship granting organizations. Mm -hmm. They take the money and take a child who wants to get out of a failing public school mm -hmm. and gets them into a non-failing public school or gets them into a private school. All right, now th let's put that in applicable terms. Let's say you got a thousand bucks. You know, how, how would that work if you want to donate? So, so you, uh, first of all, you go online, <laughs> excuse me, you go on that, uh, online to do this uh, and you you, you really just make a contribution to the uh, scholarship granting organization and then if you pay quarterly taxes you call your accountant and say don't send any money to the state until you've used up my tax credit okay. if you're a w-2 employee you call your hr department and you basically say i want to adjust my withholdings down in order to account for that so you get the money back really fast which mm -hmm. i think is important for a lot of people so basically you're giving money you're helping somebody but you're getting that money right back. You're getting that money right back and you're choosing to help. Listen, the future of the state of Alabama is dependent upon the education of our children. Yeah. So you take a child who wants a better education, mm -hmm. who's in a school that's not doing well, you get them in a much better school and you can change a life. And I say it has a big ripple effect. Uh, so it is a tremendous opportunity. Mm -hmm. I want to give people a place to go. It's because uh, you have to go online and, and do this. And a great place to go is alabamakids.net, okay. www.alabamakids.net. And they've got kind of a one, two, three, here's how you do it. Makes it easy for you. All right. Thank you, Stuart Welch from the Welch Group. Appreciate it. Thanks, Mike. All right. We've got uh, more ahead here.